In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to take scales, uh, in particular the pentatonic scale, and move it and play it in whatever key you want. On the site, we teach the pentatonic scale in the key of G. You know, position one looks like this. And we go all the way through the five positions, and it's all in the key of G. Of course, if somebody's playing in the key of G, you know, G, C's, and D's, for example, all those are in the key of G. Playing the G pentatonic scale works great. But, you know, we're learning also, you know, for in our guitar basics method, for example, we're learning a number of keys of chords, all the most popular ones. We learn uh, G, we learn C, D, A, and E. So what if somebody's playing in the key of C? C's, F's, and G's. That doesn't sound very good, does it? No, if we're, if, somebody else or the band is playing in the key of C, we want to play that pentatonic scale in the key of C. We can't play it in the key of G. So... That sounds a lot better, right? And that's because the band or the chords are being played in the key of C, and we're soloing in the key of C. We're using key of C scales. Um, now, the thing that can be a little bit difficult to comprehend at first is that when we learn these pen pentatonic positions in the key of G, that's position one, right? But we're learning a pattern. So that position one uh, pentatonic scale, we're playing it in G because we're starting on a G note. It's the first note of the pentatonic scale, first position. They all correspond. And so if we start this note on a different note, for example, up here, like I did, this is a C note. So if I play the exact same pattern, but I started up here, that was in the key of G, but I'm going to play the same pattern, but I'm going to start it on a C note. Well, I just played position one pentatonic in the key of C. Um, so where we start this scale matters a great deal. It's going to change the key. Um, we can't just play... Um, this anywhere and have it be a G pentatonic scale. It's only a G pentatonic scale because we're playing it right here and we're starting this pattern on a G note. Now, if you start, and all of them are based on this low E string, okay guys? So we're starting on a G on the low E string. All the pentatonic box patterns that we learn um, are based on starting the starting note being on this low E string. So there's another one. We can play it up here. This is also a G note. Because this is a G note, we can play that box pattern up here on the 15th fret. And that's a key of G scale. But again, if we start this pentatonic box pattern, this position one pattern, if we start this on something other than a G note, it's not in the key of G anymore. It's going to be in that new key. So now over the course of this tutorial, the point's going to be not only for this first position, which is easy, all we have to do is find the starting note and we know we're in that key. So if we start on a G, we're playing it in the key of G. If we start on a C, we're playing it in uh, the key of C. If we start on a D, we're playing it in the key of D. Um, what gets a little more challenging is figuring out how to, where to start the other positions, right? And there is um, logic there and we'll just take kind of going through it nice and slowly. Uh, as we do it more, it'll get more and more clear to you and the, the mental math, so to speak, or the mental processing will become much faster to hopefully where eventually you don't even think about it, um, and we're tying all these scales together. Because we want, when we're playing the pentatonic scale in an improvisation or even you know learning solos and learning lead lines, the point of being able to do the pentatonic scale here, and also in position two, and position three, and position four, and position five, it's because we want to be able to play all across the neck, all across the fretboard. We don't want to be confined just to right here, right? We want to make it, you know, as musical as we can. So instead of just playing between frets two and five, we want to be able to do riffs like this. You know, we want to be able to play up and down the entire uh, neck of the guitar. So that's why it's important to understand how all these positions lock together no matter what key we're in. Okay, so let's get to it. To do this, to, to go through the, um, 
key of C and play all the pentatonic position boxes and figure out um, where we need to start them, we need to understand what notes make up the scale. Okay, this is kind of the um, talking about mental processing. This is the music theory kind of slower version of doing it, and eventually you'll just recognize the intervals. Um, but this is this is why it works because in the key of G, we're going to keep going back to the key of G. There's five notes: G, A, B, D, E. Just five notes make up the pentatonic scale. That's why they call it pentatonic. Um, G, A, B, D, E. And the positions of that G pentatonic scale are all based on the number of the note, the number that note is in the scale. So position one is position one because it starts on the first note of the pentatonic scale. So these are in order. So G, A, B, D, E. The second note is what? The second note is an A note. This is where understanding what all these frets are named really matters. And if you want to get good at soloing and improvisation and figuring out solos and that kind of thing, you'll need to know what every single one of uh, these, it's like we need to know that that's an A note and that's a G note and that's a D note and that's a G note. And you know, this is a C note, this is an A note. We need to just be able to know that very quickly. So we have tutorials on that at Six String Country called Strings and Note Names. Um, but we're going to need to be able to name these frets to figure all this stuff out. So back to it. G, A, B, D, E. First note of the scale, second, third, fourth, fifth. So the second position of the G pentatonic scale needs to start on the second note of the scale, which is an A note. And sure enough, if you look at the G pentatonic scale lesson, um, That's the second position, and it starts on the second note of the scale. So what's the third note? One, two, three, G, A, B. Uh, it's a B. So we need to start the third position of the G pentatonic scale on a B note on this low E string somewhere. So where's the B note? Seventh fret of low E, that's a B note. So now we're gonna play the third position of G pentatonic starting on the third note of the G pentatonic scale. And it goes like this. All right, hopefully you're getting the idea now. So if we want to know where to start the fourth position of the G pentatonic scale, where would that be? One, two, three, four. The fourth note in the key of G pentatonic is a D note. This is a D note, right? So where would we find that on the low E string? Right there. How about the fifth one? One, two, three, four, five. What's that note? That is an E note. So where are we gonna find that on the low E string. Well, we've got options, don't we? Because that's a low E, that's an E note, and this is also an E note, so we could start it here. Or we could start it up here. Because it's the fifth position, and because we're in the key of G, we need to start it on the fifth note of the key of G scale. So that's here and here. So either one of those works. Now we're going to take the same concept and figure out where to play all the positions of the key of C scale. Okay, so position one in the key of C needs to start on what note? You got it. You start on a C note. C is the first note of the C pentatonic scale. So here's a C, the eighth fret of low E. We can play that first position, um, the, the box shape, right, the pattern. We can play that first position starting on the eighth fret. And now we're in the key of C. We can do the same thing. Uh, the notes of the C pentatonic scale, the five notes are, if we follow our scale up, C is the first one. This is a D note, the 10th fret of low E. This is an E note. So one, two, three, C, D, E. This is a G note, and that is an A note. C, D, E, G, A. One, two, three, four, five. So where are we going to start the second position of the key of C pentatonic scale shape? Where are we going to start position two if we want to play it in the key of C? On the second note of the C pentatonic scale, which is this. One, two. That's a D note. So if we play that second position shape, that second position pattern that we learned,
Now we just played position two pentatonic in the key of C. We learned it in the key of G down here. But that's the key of G because we're starting it on the second note in the G pentatonic scale. We can play it in the key of C if we start it on the second note of the C pentatonic scale. Sorry. Oh, I was right. How about the third position? One, two, three, C, D, E. If we start position three pentatonic on an E note on this low E string, we'll be playing that position in uh, the key of C. So here's an E note. Let's play position three, uh, that pattern, starting on this E note on the 12th fret. Again, you could do that down with this low E string too. All right, how about position four pentatonic in the key of C? One, two, three, four, C, D, E, G. So we need to find a G note on this low E string and start it there, and then we can play position four in the key of C. So here's a G note. Where's another G note? Up here. So let's play it in both places. Position four pentatonic. And up here. All right. Position five, one, two, three, four, five, C, D, E, G, A. So an A note will get us position five pentatonic in the key of C. So that is all of the key of C. Um, that's a lot of mental math and that's the kind of theory behind it. Eventually, you'll start to recognize some patterns with all of this stuff, you guys, and you won't have to kind of do all that to, um, to figure out where to play if you're soloing in the key of C. If you're, someone's, someone's giving you a key of C chord progression, I did right there I'm just improvising and that's just sliding back and forth hitting different notes through all of the different positions that we just talked about in the key of C okay um, and obviously I'm not sitting there kind of figuring out which position because you just kind of recognize them after a while you know um, the pet you start to recognize the pattern just like in G it's in C you'd start on a C note from there, you can go, oh, what if you're not here on the neck? Well, this is the same note as that, right? So you could go. So if that's getting a little over your head, don't let it frustrate you. Don't um, worry about it right now. Just at first, you have to go slow. You have to slowly figure this stuff out and recognize it. Eventually, you're just going to remember if you're in the key of C, if someone's playing um, in the key of C and you want this nice box shape, this position five shape, you're just going to remember to start on that fifth fret. It'll happen naturally. Um, over time, but at first we have to put the work in we have to kind of understand why it works like that and Most importantly we have to get our fingers on everything. So it's all tabbed out there Make sure you're running these scales in, in multiple keys uh, in this after this tutorial make sure you run it in uh, the key of C Now we're going to talk about how to play the pentatonic scale in the key of D Instead of in the key of G how we taught it on the website um, We're going to be building on the key of G to C tutorial that is the longest one um, this is going to rehash a lot of the same information so make sure you watch that first we're not going to repeat everything here um, we're just going to kind of be building on that tutorial and now talk about instead of changing from the key of G to the key of C like this is G that's position one in the key of G the last tutorial we figured out how to play all the positions in the key of C which would be here And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to switch everything over from G to D. Okay, because if somebody's jamming uh, in the key of D, and you play that key of G, that doesn't sound very good at all, does it? No, because band or whoever you're playing with was using key of D chords. We need to match the key of chords that's being used when we're playing with people with this key of the scale that we play it in. Um, so if we got the band playing this key of D progression, and we 
play that same position one pattern, remember the scales are just, they're just patterns. We play that up here, it's gonna sound right. It sounds good, right? Um, so we're gonna talk about how to figure out how to play all of the five pentatonic positions, positions one through five in D instead of G. So like we already talked about, there's five notes in the pentatonic scale. In the key of G, it's G, A, B, D, and E. And we can also number those if we want. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. It's just a repeating pattern. So the first position is always the easiest, and that's a good place where the mental processing uh, can be quick right off the bat. If we want to play in the key of D instead of the key of G, we just need to find a D note because the first note in the key of D pentatonic scale is what? A D note, right? And that's what it's always going to be. If you want to play in the key of A, the first note's going to be an A note. Um, the key of C, the first note's going to be a C note. But for our purposes in this tutorial, we're in the key of D, so the first note will be a D note. And we can find a D right here on the 10th fret of the E string. So if we start that position one box on the 10th fret of E, I've now just played position one pentatonic in the key of D instead of the key of G. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, let's do that up on this D scale because we just played it, right? One, two, three, four, five. These are the five notes of the D pentatonic scale. We have D, this is an E, F sharp, A, B, D, E, F sharp, A, B, D, E, right? It's just gonna repeat. If we had a lot more strings, it would just keep on repeating. So now if we want to play the second position of the pentatonic scale, we just need to find what the second note of the D pentatonic scale is, which we did. One, two, that's an E note. So we can play it right there. That's an E note too, the low E string, but we have to be up here because we know this box shape is like this, right? So we really have to play this one at the 12th fret. So we started the second position of the D pentatonic scale on the second note of D pentatonic, which is an E note. Right, okay, let's do the third position. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. D, E, F sharp. So where can we find F sharps on this low E string? Oh, we can find it here, and we can find it here. Fret two, fret 14, those are both F sharp notes. So we can play that third position, the third box shape, starting on this F sharp note, and playing position three in the key of D. Let's do position four. One, two, three, four. D, E, F sharp, A. So if we find uh, A note on this low E string, we can play that fourth position of the pentatonic scale, that box shape. We can play it here. So this is an A note, right? Fifth fret of low E. And sure enough, that box shape works. Alright, position five. One, two, three, four, five. D, E, F sharp, G, and this is a B note. So if we find a B on this low string, we can play that box shape, position five pentatonic, in the key of D. So this is a B note. Alright, and again, after a while, you'll just remember, oh, I want to play position, I like this box shape, I personally do. But I just I don't have to do all that math to just know that I'm, if I'm in the key of D, I can start that box on the seventh fret and uh, be right there. So as we do this more and more, um, this will just happen faster and faster. But let's uh, just have some fun. See if we can improvise a riff using all the positions. All right, you try. Let's play this for a minute. All right, 
right, so now you know how to play the pentatonic scale in the key of D. It is all tabbed out and written out there for you, so um, make sure you're running these pentatonic scales in all different keys um, so that you know what to do uh, when you're jamming next time and somebody's playing in a key that's not G. All right, we're going to continue the tutorial by talking about how to move all the pentatonic uh, positions, positions one through five, from G, where we teach them on the site, to A. If someone's playing key of A chords, or a band's playing key of A chords, A's, D's, and E's, for example, and you try to rip out a key of G pentatonic, no, that doesn't sound very good, right? Because uh, if someone's playing in the key of A, we need to play an A pentatonic, not G pentatonic. We can play the same shape, the same shape. We just have to move it to where it's in A instead of G. So if someone's here playing you a key of A progression like this, play the same shape. That's the exact same shape that I played here, but I just moved it up so that the starting note was on an A note instead of a, a G note. And that works with position one because the positions correspond with the number that note is in the scale. So in G pentatonic, the first note's a G, the second note's an A, the third note's a B, the fourth note is a D, the fifth note is an E. And the positions all start correspondingly, right? So that starts on the, the first note of the G pentatonic scale is a G. So we start position one on a G. Uh, the second note is an A, so we start position two on an A note. The third note is a B in the key of G. So we start position three on a B. The fourth note is a D. So we start the fourth position in the key of G on a D note. Oops, sorry. The fifth note is an E. So we start on an E note. Now we have to do the same thing in the key of A if we want to figure out where to play all of these positions, right? So in the key of A, pentatonic, we already know this is position one. So that's position one, so we know this is the first note of the pentatonic scale. That's an A note, obviously. One, two, three, four, five. There's five notes in the pentatonic scale that repeat, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. And then you run out of strings, but it would keep going. We could name them, which we need to, so let's do that. A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp. A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp. A, B. Um, now we can figure out where to play these different positions because we know the first note in the key of A pentatonic is A, second one is B, third one is C sharp, fourth one is E, fifth one is F sharp. So to play position two shape, that position two box that we learned, uh, where would we start it? We need to start it on the second note of the A pentatonic scale if we want to play an A. So the second note of A pentatonic is B. That's a B note, the seventh fret of low E, right? So if we start the position two here, we just played position two pentatonic in the key of A. If we want to play position three, that position three box, we need to start on the third note of the A pentatonic scale. One, two, three. That's a C sharp note. So where can we find a C sharp on this low E string to start it? This is a C sharp, ninth fret of low E. So we can play that position three box starting right here on this ninth fret of low E. And we just played that in the key of A, right? It's position three pentatonic in the key of A because we started on uh, the third note of the A pentatonic scale and we played that third position. The fourth note is this E note. So we have an E here and we have an E here. But we know the box for position four makes us go down a fret two, so we can't use the open string on this one. But because this is the fourth note in the A pentatonic scale, this is also where we're gonna start position four pentatonic. All right, position five, same kind of thing. One, two, three, four, five. A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp. So if we find an F sharp, we can play that nice 
perfectly shaped position five pentatonic box, but we have to start it on the fifth note of the A pentatonic scale. There's an F sharp, second fret, and there's an F sharp. Or an octave up. And that's all of the five positions in the key of A. All right, so let's have some fun. A's, D's, and E's. Sounds like the key of A to me, right? Let's see if we can whip something up that kind of touches all the different positions. Alright, so keep in mind, the reason we learn all these different positions and want to know where to access them is so that we can skate up and down the fret and use the whole um, fretboard, use the whole guitar neck rather than just being confined to just one of those spots. So you've got them all there. Make sure you're practicing uh, these pentatonic scales in all of these keys so you're not stumped next time uh, somebody's playing in the key of A instead of the key of G and you want to take a solo over it. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to play the five positions of the pentatonic scale in the key of E instead of the key of G, like we teach them. This is building on the other tutorial, so um, if you haven't watched, especially that first one, make sure you watch it, or this won't make much sense. Um, but we are, because we are not going to retread all of that, we're going to kind of touch on it. Long story short, if your buddies or your band or your friends or whoever are playing in the key of E, E's, B's, and A's, for example, that's clearly in the key of E, and you try to play that uh, G pentatonic scale over it. Doesn't work that well, does it? Actually, this is that's not a great example because that would be the blue scale, but um, that's a whole different musical theory thing. Really, you want to play in the key of E for the progression I just played. Just a nice straight diatonic key of E. We want to play that position one box that we just played there in the key of G. We want to move it to the key of E. Let's see how that sounds. A lot better, doesn't it? Um, and that's because we need to match up the key of chords that the band or whoever you're playing music with is playing. We need to match that up and play the scale in that same key or it's not going to sound right. Um, so we've already talked about there being five notes in the pentatonic scale. Let's go back to the G one here. One, two, three, four, five. And those are repeating. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. If we named them, it would be in the key of G. G, A, B, D, E, G, A, B, D, E, G, A. Um, and this is what we need to figure out. The first position uh, for the key of E is Simple, right? The first position is always the easiest, and it's a great way to start the mental process of figuring this out. What's the first note in the key of E pentatonic? It's an E, right? It's an E note. So just like we start position one in G pentatonic on a G note, we're going to start position one in E pentatonic on an E note. So we have an E here, and we have an E here. We can't use this one because we know this box shape makes us go down a fret, right? So we're going to start here and play position one pentatonic. Now we are playing in the key of E. So to figure out these other uh, positions, where to start them in the key of E, we can do the same kind of thing. Um, for the second position, we need to know what the second note of the pentatonic scale is in the key of E, right? So one, two, three, four, five. If we named them, it'd be E, F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp. One, two, three, four, five. E, F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp. So one, two, that's an F sharp. So we could start the second box here or here. Those are both F sharp notes. Okay, uh, third position, one, two, three, E, F sharp, G sharp. So if we find a G sharp on this low E string, we can play that third position, that third uh, pentatonic box. There's a G sharp, and there's also one way up here. So um, let's try it out right here. We 
could go up if you if you're on an acoustic. Uh, probably can't do this, but if you're on electric, you could try it up here. Let's try the fourth position. What's the fourth note of the E pentatonic scale? One, two, three, four. That's a B note. All right, so there's a B note there on the A string, but we need it on the slow E string. So where's the B note on the slow E string? Right here, seventh fret. So we can play the fourth position, the fourth pentatonic box shape here. And that is uh, in the key of E, position four pentatonic. Position five, which is you know that nicely shaped box that we love to solo with. One, two, three, four, five. F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp. We need to find a C sharp on the slow E string, which is right here, ninth fret of low E. And that's the five positions of the pentatonic scale in the key of E. Um, so let's kind of put this to use practically. How would we use this in a jam situation? Let's see if we can touch all the different positions. So again, to reiterate, that's why we learn the five positions and we don't just say, why do I need five? I could just stay here the whole time. Well, you could, but that'd get really boring after a while. It's nice if we can um, go up and down the neck and use the whole fretboard um, to, to craft these solos and play melodies and lead lines. So make sure you're running this pentatonic scale and all the keys. Uh, this is the last one we're gonna do um, specifically, but in the conclusion, we'll talk about how you can do this in absolutely any key. All right, we've gone through all the keys we're gonna specifically go through. We're, we went from G to C, from G to D, from G to A, and from G to E. Um, but the good news is, you can now play these pentatonic scales in any key, in all five positions in any key, using this method that we just talked about. Um, just remember, where we learned it was G. G is the first note in the G pentatonic scale, so that's why we start this on a G note for the key of G. But if you start this position one pattern on an A flat note, you are now going to be playing in the key of A flat, and so on and so forth, all the way up the neck. Um, say someone's playing in the key of B. The quickest way to figure out everything at first, anyway, is just to say, okay, I know the first note of the B pentatonic scale is a B note. So where's a B on this low E string? Right here. Okay, position one. And from there, you figure out the other positions. Position two. Position three. Position four. Position five. All right, I'm gonna let you wrestle with that one a little bit to figure out exactly how I you know, decided where to start the different positions, but you have all the tools in your toolbox to figure that out. And not only the key of B, but any key. Um, at first, it's gonna take sitting down and really working this out using the method that we, that we showed you here. But the more you do it, um, the more it's gonna become second nature and the mental math, the mental processing is gonna become a lot quicker. Uh, and you're just gonna start remembering where some of this stuff happens without even thinking about it. When that light bulb goes off, and it might not go off for a while, and if that's the case, congratulations, you're like almost all the rest of us. This is a tough concept to get your head around at first, but the more work you put in, um, the more time you spend trying to do this, eventually the light bulb will go off, and you're gonna open up a whole new world for yourself uh, musically.